Okay, so this is our Leap Motion Controller. A tiny weeny little box and a USB cable that plugs into the computer. Nice and simple. All you have to do is to plug in the Leap Motion Controller, plug the USB into your computer, and away we go. So if you're looking to purchase the Leap Motion Controller, I bought mine from a store called robotshop.com. If you go to their website and just type in Leap Motion Controller, that will bring up the Leap Motion Controller. This is the one that I purchased. Then you need to purchase the 2D Facial Mocap Suite for Cartoon Animator. And this will give you the ability to capture yourself in real time. And you'll also need to purchase the Leap Motion Hand Mocap. And once you have these installed in Cartoon Animator, you're ready to go. And the only other thing that you'll need for the Leap Motion Controller is the desktop app controller, which can be downloaded from the Leap Motion Controller website. So this is our Leap Motion Controller. Once you have those three things and you have your Leap Motion Controller plugged in, down on the bottom taskbar, you'll see the little green bar for the Leap Motion Controller. If it's green, it means your Leap Motion Controller is on. Right click on it and bring up your settings. You need to swap over to low resource mode and allow web apps. Now the problem, and you can click apply. Now the problem is every time you start your Leap Motion Controller, you have to go through those two steps again. So don't forget that every time you have to go through those two steps. So now if we go to settings and we go to the diagnostic visualizer, There's our hands in front of us with our Leap Motion Controller. Now it's important to remember that the Leap Motion Controller has to be facing up off the table, not forwards like a camera normally. And, I, and, I've, and I've got to be honest, the sensitivity of uh, that the capturing of the hands is really very accurate. So that's pretty much all there is to setting up the Leap Motion Controller. From there, it's just a matter of loading it up in the software and learning the coordination of using your hands with the puppets or the bone hands. Uh, it's, it's just a matter of practice, that's all it is. But it's a, it's a fantastic fun little tool to play with and it has a lot of practical applications for Cartoon Animator that's really going to speed up your process of animating. Thanks!